everybody. Welcome to I'm Devoted. Today I'm here with Mark. He's the owner of x -Well Art. First of all, appreciate you for coming out here, man. No problem. Uh, I was just going to initially ask you, how did you get into doing art? Jealousy. <laughs> Go deeper into <laughs> no, it. No. <laughs> all right. Uh, it was like early, too. Okay. Really early. Second grade, I had a, a friend, um, so far, he used to... You know, he's always drawing around, like doing Dragon Ball Z stuff. Uh, Dragon Ball Z was, it's always been It's always been big, yeah. but definitely, yeah. 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 So, like, people were proud to tell you, like, man, this dude, I'm like, second grade, this dude just. And I'm just like, I'm trying to do it, it ain't look nothing like it. Yeah. So one day I came to him, like, dude, you know, like, I want to be like this. So he, I mean, we started small. He told me how to draw like a, like a little t-shirt and stuff like that. Now, granted, I never could draw animated figures like him too. Okay. Probably to this day, you know, <laughs> but it made me realize I had like a niche for trying to make things look too real. Yes. That's why I, it kind of like, I'm like, oh, let me just try to go into the, like the realism style. So, so like now, what's, what type of art do you focus on or what type of style do you focus on? That's, that's really a hard question. <laughs> question. Or what's no, something that you like to work with? It, it's, the reason why I say it's like a hard one because my mind is always, is gone. If I draw something yeah. real one day, next day I want to do some abstract. Gotcha. You know, I want to challenge myself to not just be um, limited. Like, yeah, one dimensional. You know, I want people to be like, oh, who, he did that picture, but who did he did this too? Wow. You know, yeah, like because yeah. I was even looking at some of your work, and it, it is different styles. Like it, it's crazy. You're very diverse. Uh, more, more. I plan to have more coming. You know, so I just. I want you need to be diverse. Of know? course. Like Childish Gambino, he ain't just a right. Donald Glover. That man, he, he want to call everything. up. <laughs> yeah, he's so doing everything. I, I, I look at him and I'll be like, well, who says you got to be in just one category? You yeah. Know? So, I feel like, I don't know if it's like school or society or what, but they always do try to label us into one thing, like even going into college, like what's your major? Like, so, you know what I'm saying? They just kind of limit you. People like to, well, most people like to be feel organized. I would yeah. say feel organized. Um, and what they do, they do that with people too. They, they y'all can go back real quick. Oh, oh no, y'all good. Y'all just put this pause at y'all. No, but um, like I said, they, I mean, they, everybody got like they like to feel organized. And yes. stuff like and, and they even come from people, okay. you know. So they got a certain label they put you in. They wouldn't tell you they labeling you. But you can do it And they, I'm about to say, they might not even know, but like yeah, you said, yeah, subconsciously. You know, like, hey, you know, that's what you do. That's the type of stuff you do. Oh, this morning, they were like, oh, man, I'm yeah. Brian. He like, you know, he do videos. And he it's like, crazy, because yeah, yeah, that's what people say to me, because like, a lot of people know me, I do modeling. So a lot of people know me for, for modeling and stuff like that. But then if they see me like trying to do promo videos and now I'm interviewing, they like, they kind of throws them off. Like, well, but it's like, the exactly. <laughs> but it's like, am I supposed to only just be good at one thing? Or like, why can't, like God made us creative for a reason. You know what I'm saying? God gave us his mind for a reason. So why not use it to its full ability? You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you got a real urge, you know, a good urge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But um, I feel like you gotta urge, you know, why should we try to fight it off and, and kind of like be scared? Yeah. You know, like people just get scared and just, I ain't gonna try because they're afraid of, of, of failure. failure and other people's opinions. Yeah, and so it's, I ain't gonna lie, I used to be like that too, but like I've gotten more to like, all right, if I do fail, I'm gonna learn something from this failure and then hopefully that'll help me out for my next venture. You know what I'm saying? People will criticize you under, under two circumstances. What is it? We criticize people when they don't, like, he don't do nothing, you know. You pretty much lazy. Lazy. And then when you do do something, he you don't criticize about what you're doing, you know, like, yeah. he ain't doing it a certain way. So, I mean, that, it just comes with it. Yeah. You know, yeah. ain't not one YouTube channel I saw that don't got, it'll have a, a lot of likes, but. Somebody hit the not, not one video I saw that got zero likes. Somebody's going yeah. to yeah. critique you or say that. And if you can't handle it, you know, you probably would get stuck in that and not doing nothing safe, but you gotta be able to handle criticism because it, it's still positive. They're giving you feedback. You exactly. Know? They had to look at it and give you feedback. So now, with your know. artwork, do you ever find yourself getting criticized on any of your art? Oh, we used to have to do that in college. Wow, um, wow. That was the homework assignment. Wow. And so we would, and to make sure you did the homework too, because 
if your work sucked, the teacher would be like, what is this? <laughs> He'd be like, are you, you allowed to say that first of all? <laughs> like, can't dog my homework. But yeah. it, it's, it's true though. Like, a class would rock, like, crowd around and be like, and he would actually make us have to criticize him. Even if wow. Which school did you go to, bro? I went to Liberty. That was okay. Finished. Hey, I, know, I went to Christopher Newport. I'm not sure if you're familiar with CNU, but I went to Christopher Newport first, then I transferred to Union, but I didn't finish either. I, when I was at Virginia Union, I dropped out of school and moved to London, bro. And I just got really? back, yeah, because I, I, that was with my girl, at, uh, my old girl at the time. And so I moved out there to be with her, and now I just got back about six or seven months ago, and I kind of been trying to do the entrepreneurship type thing. So. I, I think a lot of people, I mean, it's just, but I don't want a nine to five though, so you know what I'm saying. I'm not really. It feels good. like jail. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, if you don't like it, it feels like jail. It, it's a it's a lot of people that enjoy what they do. Exactly. I'm just trying and to get to the point where I enjoy what I do. Exactly. If, if I had a nine to five doing art, that'd it, be fine. It, it, it's fine with me. Yeah, yeah. And I'm about to say, and I know, like, even for myself, like, I might actually have to go back and get a nine to five just to get my money up. But I'm just saying that's not my long-term goal. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I, I think everybody who really has a passion to do something, they want to, they got a certain vision. Yes. And I think in order to chase a certain vision, people really need to like put goals. Like you really need goals. Like without a goal, you just find yourself kind of like straggling. But you need to make long-term goals, short-term goals. That's just, big, that's big. It's just like a job. Every day you go into a nine to five, you have a task you have to work on each and every day, even though you hate it. Exactly. But you're getting work done. You know, like if people actually treat their passion that way, you don't wake up like with a passion not waking up every single day. Like it's some days gonna be hard. Like man, I just wanna just be lazy. But if you really got a, a goal, it's just like I'm passionate about what I do. Yeah. I see the vision. You're working towards the vision, the end goal. And if you do that and try to perfect. You know, getting up and getting at it. Not, it don't have to be every single day, but majority of your time trying to get like chase that goal. You know, then you're gonna end up producing great stuff, like whatever it is, like getting better because you're striving for it. So, and people start treating passion like they nine to five. You know, we'd be better off. <laughs> we definitely be better off. Now, I was gonna ask you, as far as like any advice you could give to any other up and coming artists. What would that be? Because like, what are some of the difficulties that you face, and just like any game you can get to anybody up and coming? Oh uh, yeah, um, I try to get out the the habit of compare. Like we we got uh, we compare a lot. Yeah, you, we do art. You know, you're like, man, they got a I like their style, and, and then you start looking at Joe's stuff, and you just be like, sometimes it can get real discouraging. There's a lot of good artists out there, and what you'll do is you'll try to find yourself copying them. Okay. You know, so what's the point of copying? You just, would you compete for second place? It's exactly. already him, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, his work is already you there. Can, you can be inspired and still be yourself with your art. So I'm just like, when you, pers you like, you perfect your style, okay. you know, like, that's that's a big one. That's big style. though. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, I feel like that goes into a lot of things in life, because like you said, you can get inspiration, but it doesn't, you don't have to try to compete with that person or copy what they're doing. Just yeah. pick the pieces that you do like from what they're doing. Use your own mind to create your own thing. Yeah, like, like I said, with certain, with certain passions, it's different roles. You yeah. know, people don't, people want to see what you have to offer. Exactly. You know, so I will also say That's this big. too, That's like, um, like you said about the criticism, you know, they see a little, be your hardest critic too. Because nobody else, it, just like we said, people gonna criticize you. It's gonna be people that don't criticize you. Sure. What I mean by that, I mean your, your friends. friends or friends. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, because I, I think that's real. I think the most harmful words, you know, is is good job. Good job can be the. It's like a slap in the face. You know, it's kind of like it's keeping you like hey, hey, like hey. Man, you, you did a good job. It was all right. Well, I mean, are we really chasing to just be good or are we chasing to do something great? great. Yeah. If anybody want to ever make an impact, people will scroll right past good. And that is not really going to Nobody get remembers the good people. Yeah, so it's just, you, you got to, you got to like, I say, you know, aim high. If you don't get it, okay, you still, <laughs> you shoot up there. Exactly. But if you aim low, 
you ain't gonna never get high. So I'm like, when it comes to art, you gotta aim big, you know. If you're gonna do something, do it, you know. Don't just kinda like, ah, oh, I think it's there. Like, no, put the, go the extra mile. Do the extra detail, whatever the extra thing is that's just gonna make your work stand out. And that, and that kind of goes beyond art now. It's just it's like, life in general. Yeah, life in general, do, yeah. you know, it's all about going the extra mile and really trying to um, push your potential, basically. That's good, that's good. And now, as far as with your artwork, how can people reach out and buy some of your art? And do you do custom artwork as well? Like, just as far as like buying artwork from you, how does that work? But now, since this is like my full of times, <laughs> um, I do do custom. Okay. Um, I have a web page, but I don't go to it yet because it's not the way it is. It's not set up. But I know you have your Instagram, right? I do have my Instagram. It's like I have two, but I usually use just my art Instagram, which is xwood underscore art. Okay. You know, okay. So. That's my main my main source right now. I run business through there, you know. Um, you can see all my pictures I'm working on, good, you know, good. all the upcoming stuff coming. But I do really need to get a professional web page. But you got Instagram right now. And that's the start. That's yeah. all you need for right now. Obviously, I know both of even myself like with devoted. I still need to get a website right now as well. But it's all about progression, though. It's all about it progression. Is. It is. Man. I mean, that's what, that's what we here for. Exactly. Now, I got one last question for you. Since we're on the channel, I am devoted. I just want you to talk about what devotion means to you and like how you've been able to stay devoted to your artwork. Because I know sometimes, like you say, it can be hard, but how have you, you're still here, you're still doing it. So how have you been able to stay devoted? It, it almost, it's like it calls back to you. You know, it was, it was at one point I was drawn. I, I really was like, man, I saw one person already that was like, I might as well throw away the pencil. <laughs> I wasn't too good back then, you okay. know? I was like, people kept telling me I was good, good, you know? But to me, I'm like, no, it ain't that, you yeah. know? It ain't wow, it ain't breathtaking because I saw people walk past the, the biggest, people walk past and stuff and go about their day. Mm -hmm. You spent hours on something, they just looked at it for three seconds and they ain't, you know? Yeah, so like. Yeah. You know, so it was at one point I stopped for years and encouragement really do help. Like, well, I'll tell you this now, bro. You might be one of the best painters I've seen in, in Virginia, I mean, no, true. Like, when like, I say that's truly, real. truly, yeah. truly, like, and I don't, it, it, it humbles me. You know, if you lose sight of the humility, I kid you not, you start getting big headed. And if I ever get big headed, I will hope somebody come and humble me again because <laughs> God will. <laughs> it, 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 it's a lot of great talent out there, but um, every job I've been to, like I said, it, I used to show people my artwork. I can't stop talking about art on my job. I'm like, I gotta get these boxes out. They're like, what are you doing here? Yeah, that's yeah. the best compliment I can get. You know, like what are you doing? Yeah, you're supposed to be doing that I was artwork. Like, well, you know what? My last job, I, I started listening to those voices because I was I was frustrated. I won't do an art when I'm not really working on art. I'm like, what am I? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not doing what God has placed my hands to do. Is like I'm really wasting, throwing away a talent, and that's like it. It just feels like depressing and sad when you don't get to use what you you know created to do. So I was just like, you know what? quit my job, you know, and I, I, really I know you're stepping out on a leap, leap of faith, but bro, I'm going to tell you, you are very, very talented. And just because you're taking that leap of faith, I know it's going to work out for you, bro. And Thank you. Yeah, of Not course. Truly. Of course, because I'm doing the same thing. And it's just like, man, and definitely, and you black. So it's like, I just want to see my brothers make it, bro. Like, that's, it's, that's the, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just want all of us to really make it and make that's, it. That's enough, good, bro, bro, at the top of all of us. That's enough for all of us. It truly is. As it's, much as people or society shots for portray that there's not, there really is, man. There yeah, really it is. is. It, it, support really do go a long way. And like I say, like, I'm trying to provide a service to people. So without people, you know, like I think about stuff like the NBA. Yeah. If people didn't support the NBA, it would be well, no well, NBA. Exactly, it would just exactly. be people playing. And it's crazy because I even I even thought about that too. Like even with HBCUs or the, you can look at the NBA too, but what if all the top 
black athletes went to HBCUs instead of Duke and UNC or Alabama for football. Virginia Union would just blow up overnight if they got Zion Woods, you know, the next Zion. You know what I'm saying? It's because people like the cling on to something that already is. Yeah. You know, when people don't see the vision of something really blowing up, people wait until it's blown up. Exactly. To cling on to it, I guess. I guess one call it the bandwagon. Nah, I'm not that's saying, you know, that's but true. that's just the way I guess reality is with stuff. But to get you know, and in, in that state is like Game of Thrones. You know, like we was talking about earlier. Yep, just, yep. When nobody ain't talking about it, we still got to put in that work. Man. And now when people see the all the Facebook status blowing up, you see people who ain't never hop on that wagon like. I gotta, I gotta see what the hype is about now. Exactly. But the exactly. thing is, they stay, what's that word you just devoted. told me? Devoted. Devoted. They stay devoted. You know, so that, that's what you, you just really like tucking your head and you gotta kind of believe in yourself. You know, believe that you can get better. If you're not there yet, you really have to believe you can. And, and it really does help to have a friend because like at one point, like I give up, you know, but it took my life, you know, to see that one person. I believe you. Like, you kind of, you feel like you got to say that? Like, no, like, seriously. That's real. I believe you. So that's like, real. And, and it took that one person, I'm just like, all right, you know, if you believe that, that's, that's all I need, you yep. know, so that that really, that really helps. Hey, well, that's good, man. I really do appreciate you taking out the time. No you problem, guys man. definitely check out Mark's work at xwellart underscore, correct? Yes. All right, y'all take care. Thank y'all.